for me. Um, I haven't really named it, like I've been calling it epitome, but um, it's, it's a little different. <laughs> By the way, I am a super nerd geek. I love mythology, so you'll hear some names if you like mythology at all that you should recognize in this one. <clears throat> epitome. I'm done with the ever burning burden, bitten heart beats beating to be loved endlessly. Could I instead learn the tango? Could I instead learn to waltz on crimson sunbeams? I am the golden chariot and its rider both, Apollo. And if I could learn to follow the sway of the ever swaying shores, I could mumble with mermaids across Neptune's silver locks. I'd rumba to my heart's content. And I carry no resentment toward the world as is. However, I want to live in the fantastic. Call me Ilmarugan, last of the late great earth dragon, shaker of plates, weaver of the fates of man and beast alike. Or be I Primus, the high mage, seer of sights unseen, and walker of the plain as I deem fit. And I, and I have dreamed of being the serpent queen Medusa. Beware the glare of my obsidian stare, dare you try me? And as I stride atop the backs of Yggdrasil, I feel the roots of my soul, a tangled heap, flowing throughout the world's life streams. They flow forwards and backwards through time till they... <laughs> <clears throat> and as I stride the facts of Yggdrasil, I find the roots of my soul, a tangled heap flowing all throughout the world's life streams. They flow forwards and backwards through time till they find me as I am, and I feel depleted. I am greater than I am great. The cosmos is alive inside of me. I am pinnacle, the foci of time and time again, seeker of sins that I might heal them. I bend reality to my whims, with mere scraps of paper, the creator and destroyer both I am. And yet I bow my head to whatever powers may be greater than me and ask that I no longer be saddled by the evil hearts of man. I cast off my own humanity with full understanding that it could make me a better person. All I've got left are my words and a leather jerkin. Call me Maggio, the forever bard, and watch as my songs inspire the true potential of man to bound forth heedlessly. And I would sacrifice all that I could be if you would all heed my last words and learn from mine own mistakes. Live not simply for the sake of living. Be as fantastic as you dare to be. Dream vividly and in color. Be a symbol of justice, truth, and love. Hold no man above thine own heart. And I'll vouch for you when it's all said and done at the gates of Nevermore and Always.